Hello, welcome to this Python tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to use Python to clean up data that you've got from other sources. Now in this case we'll be using Excel as our data source and what I'll be doing firstly in this first part of the series is to show you how to find and substitute null values. That is values which are missing when you import it into Python. And then in the other, in the other um, tutorials going forwards, I'll be showing you how to check for formatting and also go through some error checking. But for this part one, we'll be just be finding and substituting null values. First things first is we need to create our Excel document and I've done that here. I've created an Excel with the summary tab and just sort of a brief overview. And then I've got a data tab here, which has sort of I've deliberately left out some no left out some values here which will appear as not a number when we import it into Python. So we've got five columns group, item, unit price, and purchase counter. And then they just sort of 18, sort of 19 or so rows down. Now this is a very small Excel document and a very small amount of data we're importing into Python, and this is just for sort of educational purposes. But in real world you could get columns going like you know, 50, 100 columns across and millions of rows down. And then what you can do now is you can go through, use Python to go through each and every one of those columns and then checking for null values and substituting for the correct value where appropriate. But we'll just be using this small value for this tutorial and for this whole series. If we minimize it then, and we now we what we need to do is import that data tab into Python. Python and we're going to do that by using pandas and numpy. So if we zoom in, first thing you need to do is import the pandas and numpy module. So pandas is pd, so wherever we reference pd going forward that will refer to pandas and numpy is I've put as an alias of np. So anything with np refers to numpy. The first thing we need to do is import the Excel document and I've used pandas for that. I've done pd.readexcel. And then within read Excel, we type in the location of the file uh, in its directory. And we do that, we can do that using Excel actually. If we click into the file, if you go to file and then go to the bottom right, you'll see a related document section. You'll see the a button called open file location. If we click on that, it will open the file. What you need to do then is copy and paste that into here. If I just do that with you, copy and paste. And then what you need to do is you need to continue sort of down that file path and add the file name itself with the extension. They can do that also by going into the file. You see the top bit here that you see the file name and the extension. So if I just type in that here, dot s x l s x. And then other thing you need to do is we need to specify the sheet name here because we just want to get the data tab. So we just want this tab here, data. And we just type in sheet name equals data. So your location and your file name and the extension of the file name will be in speech marks as well as the name of your sheet. And we can check that we've imported it correctly by typing in um, print Excel read. And if we do that, on our in our output on our right here we'll have our sort of download and what we've done now is transferred the data from that excel data tab into python and notice here we've got our null values on the bottom right for purchase counter and sort of middle-ish lower middle-ish for unit price for pencil and what we need to do now is I'm going to show you various ways of firstly checking to see where the null values are. Imagine if this went 50 rows, 50 columns across and millions of rows down. You don't want to be just scrolling down and scrolling across. I'm going to show you an easier way of checking for null values. And then I'll be showing you how to check it for specific columns. And then I'll be showing you how to, I'll be showing you how to substitute those null values both as a blanket across the whole import and also by column. The next thing to do then is to check 
what values is is are null. If we use our Excel read and we type in dot is null, what that will do is that will create that will convert this data table here into a boolean where anything with a value is is not null, so it's false, and anything that is null will be true. And if we print that, that's what we get. So notice here, if we go to our first output, and then it, we have values, and if we go to the output below that we just created, we have false where there's value and true where there's null values. And if we had like 50 columns across and millions of rows down, and you wanted to have, we to count or count how many null values there were in each column. You can add dot sum onto the end of is null. So if you type in Excel read calling this pandas data frame here, dot is null dot sum and then brackets, then print that value again. What you'll get is you'll get a list of all the columns and then a count of how many columns, how many null values there are in each column. I think that's a really great and powerful tool, especially for very large databases. Right, the next thing to do is to check for null values. Instead of in the whole table, let's just select a single column. In this case, let's just check the purchase counter column. If I just gray that out, and we've done exactly the same thing here, except we've called the data frame Excel read and just using square brackets, we've instead of calling, we've specified purchase counter. So instead of having what well, we had above Excel read, we've added square brackets and then the name of the column in question. And then if we do exactly the same thing, dot is null and then print null values, we'll get just one column, purchase counter, and we've got the is null boolean going on there as well. The next thing to do then is to substitute these null values. And you could do a loop where you have, you know, for each null value, in, you could do loops through the rows and then you could loop through the columns or columns and rows. And then if it's a null value, then have this value. If it's not, then, you know, leave it as is and move on. But there is a pandas function called fill na, which basically scans through, does the, which gets rid of that need for loop, and it just scans through the entire data frame and substitutes any null values for you. So the first thing is to do is we're going to do like a blanket sweep of everything. If I just, actually, if we just get back to our original print Excel read, like that, and then what we can do is compare that going down. Then, so if we do our blanket sweep of everything, so what you're going to do is we're going to replace everything, every null value with one. And so we type in Excel read dot fill na dot fill na, and we type in one. And what that'll do is that'll fill every null value with one. And then let's print that out and see what we get. So here we get one. So we've gone through everything and we filled it with one. So that looks looks good for the purchase counter. But if we look at the unit price, we can see that the pencil null values that we had up here have also been filled with one. And that's not something that we want. So we can see here that pencil price should be, if you go above to where it was not a null, should be 0.49. But here we substitute it for one, and that's not correct. So what we want to do instead is we want to replace purchase counter with one, and then we want to replace the null values and unit price with the correct value. And we can do that by selecting a particular column. So if we do the Excel read square brackets and select the purchase counter column, and then we can just Excel read and on that purchase counter column, filling the null values with just one, and then we can print that out. And what we've done here is we've just um, we've just substituted the null values in the purchase counter column for one, leaving the unit price unit price column and all the other columns unchanged. And then we can do exactly the same thing again, but for unit price, and instead of having one, we have the 0 0.49. And we print that again. We've now got, 
Oh, we printed it twice. Hold on. If you do that, we've now got purchase counter as one and the unit price as 0 0.49. And notice that has filled out all of our null values. And, and, to, and from a null values perspective, it, that is now complete. We've now cleansed our data, replacing all the null values with the values that they should be from our Excel data source. Now in the, in the next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to do some error checking and also possibly moving on to some formatting or maybe formatting first. I haven't quite decided yet. But um, keep following my channel if you've already followed and subscribe if you haven't and check out all my other tutorials. I've got stuff on Excel. I've got other stuff on Python. I've got a little bit on Arduinos and just check it out and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.